Hello everyone, good to see you today. So today I'm gonna to take you through a walking workout. We're gonna do 30 second intervals. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna do 30 seconds for each movement. Go ahead and start walking with me right away today. So this is your home base step, meaning if you ever need to take a break from our other movements, you're gonna come right back here and just walk it out, just march it out. So Gus will be participating with us a little bit today. He'll probably be in the camera shot with us. So he'll be getting his exercise and workout in too. Okay, so we're gonna switch to the next movement in just a second. So the next thing that we're gonna do are side steps. So get ready to do those with me. And you'll be hearing frequent beeps and I'll let you know that the movements are changing. So stepping from left to right, and you can always pick up the intensity as well. Our goal today is to get about 500 steps in. So I'm gonna see where I'm at now, and we're gonna to try to get at least 500 steps in today. So if you get more, awesome. So we're gonna be switching to the next movement in just a few seconds. So we're gonna be stepping forward and backward. So a narrow forward and backward step today for your next movement. Also, don't be afraid to get your arms involved. So if you wanna do more with your arms, maybe arm circles, long or big arm circles, or tiny ones, whatever is comfortable for you. So we're just stepping forward and back though for these movements. And if you have a big space, feel free to use it. You can use your whole space if you want to. I'm just trying to make sure I stay in the camera shot today. So we're gonna move on to our next movement, which is very similar to one of the movements we already done. Side steps but crossing our leg behind now. Notice I'm moving my arms as I do this too, just to get a little bit of extra movement in. Trying to get for 500 steps today. So this is a really quick workout. If you're short on time and you just wanna get a couple extra steps in today, or maybe you're new to walking in general, you're new to walking workouts, this will be great for you. Okay, next movement, we're gonna step forward and step back. Notice this time though, we are going wide with our legs instead of narrow. And let's check our steps here. So notice today I'm not wearing any shoes. You can do this with or without shoes. It's completely up to you. I like to wear sometimes just socks or be completely barefoot or put on my sneakers. It really just depends. Okay, we're gonna march it out once again. So take this as a second to catch your breath. And moving on to the next movement in just a little bit, but it's always good to come back to what I call your home base. This is your home base movement here. Now our next movement, we're gonna kick up the intensity just a little bit. So hopefully you've had a chance to catch your breath. We're gonna do a little skip forward and skip back and go. So if you wanna to go to the back to the walking one though, please feel free. Maybe make your steps a little bit bigger, but I wanna to try to push myself just a little bit today. So I'm gonna run it out. And let's check our step count while we're running. Doing pretty good. Okay, and the next movement, we're gonna go two steps right, one, two and two steps left. One, two. It's kind of like a choreographed dance. So two steps left and two steps right. And of course, you don't have to follow me completely. If you want to do your own thing, go for it. This is just a good guide to give you if you want something to follow along with. Sometimes it's a little bit more interesting than just walking around your house. Okay, and we're going to switch to the next move. One. Okay, we're gonna run it forward and back now, kicking up that intensity once again. So this time, running a little bit faster. Of course, you can always take it back to your forward and back, but I'm gonna try to keep up the intensity today. And I like to try to walk with all of my movements, so really keeping that walking pace up. And our next move to catch our breath, since we've been working so hard, we're gonna go back to our march. Let's check our steps. We're doing awesome, we are super close. So the next move that we're gonna do, we're gonna be moving from left to right once again. So make sure to get ready for that in about 15 seconds. 
Just stepping it out here, catching our breath. You can always add dumbbells too if you like. Okay, now we're gonna do one big step to the right and to the left, and to the right and to the left. So making that step wider than last time. So you can move your arms however you like. I find it natural to just move my arms with me. So moving from left to right. The next thing we're gonna do in about five seconds is a high knee march forward. And two, one, let's do it. So a high knee march forward. You can always just take this in place, but I like to try to walk with my movement and then we're gonna take it back. So I do about four of these forward. One, two, three, four, and then four back. One, two, three, four, just to get back to that original spot. Okay, and our next movement, taking it back to home base. Let's take this as an opportunity to check our steps. So run it out. You can always just walk it out if you need to catch your breath. I'm gonna try to keep running here. So I got my tracker on today. If you've got a sort of smartwatch, you can always wear that to help you track your steps. And for our last move today, we're just gonna sidestep in and out in the last move. So this will be our last move for our 500 step workout today. You did an awesome job. Make sure if you're new to the channel, I have lots of videos here. So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you wanna see down below. And this is our last move, so really push it. Awesome job everyone for that excellent workout. I will see you for the next one.